favor Okama Sylvanus, 29 years old, a contestant for member in the State House of Assembly, Agu North constituency, on the platform of the African Democratic Congress, ADC. Commonly known as a woman on a mission, her commitment is towards a community-based development agenda. Hello, my people. We are Team Favor and We Young. Dot to door campaign, giving people our letters for them to campaign, vote for us and support us in this forthcoming election, 2nd March 2019. Yes. We need your support, we need we your need vote. Your Let's build Agronauts together. Thank you. Welcome back. This week, INEC published the list of candidates for the governorship as well as the State House of Assembly. And on this show this week, we will share with you what's the outlook for young people who are running for the governorship as well as the State House of Assembly. And we begin with the number of candidates. And you can see the graphic on your screen talking about the number of candidates. For the governorship, um, there are about 1,066 candidates that have been presented by political parties. Um, for State House of Assembly, we've got 14,580 candidates. These are the candidates presented by the parties. Out of these candidates for the governorship out of 1,066, 104 of them are youth candidates who are between 18 and 35. Um, for the State House of Assemblies, we've got 5,914 5 youth candidates out of the 14,580 candidates presented by the parties. If you look at this, um, what's the percentage? The percentage for youth candidates in the State House of Assembly elections is 41.8%, and for governorship, it's at 9.8%. That is where youth candidates actually stand. And let's look at a comparison between 2015 and 2019. How did young people fare as candidates in 2015 and then 2019? And the graphic on your screen talking about the, the comparison. In 2015, for governorship, the youth candidacy was 11%. But in 2019, the youth candidacy was 9.8%. But let's look at the State House of Assembly and something very, very interesting. In 2015, um, youth candidacy for State House of Assembly elections was 25%. But in 2019, it increased to 41.8%. So for State House of Assembly elections, there seem to be increase in the level of youth candidacy. Let's look at gender representation or gender distribution um, from this list based on um, the list from INEC. In 2015, um, the, the youth candidacy, young, young female candidacy was 3% for governorship elections. But in 2019, it moved as high not necessarily really high, but 11%. So in 2015, it was 3%, and then 2019, um, female youth candidacy was at 11%. For State House of Assembly elections, um, the female youth candidacy for State House of Assembly in 2015 was 6%, and in 2019, it is 13.9%, um, signaling an increase, though not so significant, um, with ref respect to um, young female candidacy. Now, if you look at the zonal representation, we looked at which region has the highest and the lowest um, youth candidacy. For the governorship elections, the Northwest had the highest um, youth um, candidacy for governorship elections, and it stood at 33.7%. You can see that displaying on your screen. Um, the lowest for governorship elections for youth candidacy is the Southwest Nigeria that recorded 5.8%. For the State House of Assembly elections, the highest, the region with the highest youth um, candidacy is still the Northwest um, um, at 23.5%, and then Northeast is the lowest at 12.5%. It's obvious from the previous data we shared with you that the Northwest has the highest. Um, rate of youth candidacy in virtually all the elections. And the last um, slide 
or graphic you see is the party representation and where the top five parties that presented youth candidates for governorship as well as the state house of assembly as, as you can see we've got jmpp and ncmp da um, who are those those um, parties who actually presented um, candidates up next is the meet the youth segment where we meet other young people who are running for elections and you can see that on your screen um, to, tonight we feature Colin Mang um, Daliop, who is running for the State House of Assembly um, under Just South um, State Constituency in Plateau State under um, the platform of the ANN, the Alliance for New Nigeria, and his 28 years. We also have Temitope um, Kolaole, who is running for the Federal House of Representatives in Ondo State to represent Otipupa Irele, Federal Constituency, under the platform of the ADP and um, is 35 years old. We also have Amino Mohamed Malami, of the, who is running uh, for the House of Representatives, quite a lot of them, and under the Tarani Federal Constituency in Kano State, is 29 years uh, old and a candidate of the African Democratic Congress. These are actually beneficiaries of the Naughty Young to Run. They wouldn't have been running if that bill was not passed and signed into law. We also have Dare Dimas Lugat, who is um, from Gombe State, representing um, Kautungo West State Constituency and State House of Assembly um, from under the platform of the All Blending Party. And he is 32 years old. And lastly, on the show tonight, in, uh, youth candidates, we've got Samuel Marcos Wiener, Samuel Marcos Wiener also running for a seat in the State House of Assembly in Gombe State um, in the constituency called Pero Chonge State Constituency and is a candidate of the All Progressive Congress um, and he's 36 years old running for office. From Ready to Run, we wish you all the best in all your campaigns as you move to the elections. Do not forget, we are Nigeria's new tribe, and so we must refrain from hate speech, fake news, and every form of violence as we run our, uh, our campaigns. Uh, and viewers, you can all share your thoughts with us um, and comments in using our different social media platforms. On Twitter, is Ready to Run NG. Um, on Facebook is Ready to Run NG using the hashtag um, Ready to Run. And please do send us an email. We'd like to hear from you at Ready to Run at yaga.org. Our email is Ready to Run at yaga.org. We've got those social media addresses um, on your screen. Next is our message of the week. And our message of the week is Vigilance is a price that we pay for electoral integrity. Vote and remain at the polling station. This is where we draw a curtain on this week's edition of the show. Um, my name is Samson Itodo, and I do wish you a fabulous and a fantastic week ahead. Bye-bye.